Hi, dear to hear it again, and I'm going to go open up the new ingredients form. Okay, um, so what we'd like to do is just make this a little bit easier for people to use. Um, we have uh, all of the other bits and pieces uh, already uh, set up. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move over into design view and we're going to add some buttons uh, to this. Now I'd like to make a little bit of space for it. So do you see the form footer? So if you go to the top half of the form footer and drag down, you get yourself a little bit more space and make yourself just a bit of space down the bottom so you can put in the, the different buttons you want to put in. So uh, on the design tab up here, we're going to choose uh, this button option. So you click on it and let go your mouse. Um, and just to hear about this position here, I'm going to click and drag. Um, and this is going to be the position of the button. Now, in this option here, you have to choose uh, which category uh, you're going to, to use. Um, so what we'd like to do is go to record operations uh, and we'd like to maybe, for example, add new record. OK, it's very easy to create these. So click on add new record. We have record operations selected on the left hand side. And then in the actions area, we have add new record uh, and we click on next. So we can either use a picture, which we don't really have, or we can use text. So we're selecting text up here and instead of saying add record, which is a bit vague, we'll say add new ingredient. OK, add new ingredient. So whatever we type up here will appear on the button and click on next. And we'll just say um, uh, new ingredient. I'll do and click on finish and you can see here uh, it works it's what we typed in is now on the button and let's take a look at this uh, in uh, form view so we we'll move back over to form view uh, and if we click on the add new ingredient at the moment we're on one of we're on uh, record one of 328 if we click on add new ingredient if we click on that one there you can see it's now 329 okay we're going to go back into a uh, design view again uh, and see what else we can add. So if we click on the button option at the top, uh, we're just going to have a uh, click and drag. We're going to create a small little one down here um, and we're going to do record navigation. OK, so we'll go to <coughs> uh, go to previous record is the one we want and click on next. OK, uh, and actually a picture is a good idea in here. That's fine. Go to previous. That's perfect. Uh, and we click on next. Uh, and then we'll just say previous. OK, and you can see a little arrow goes in and we might put another one on the other side. OK, uh, record navigation, uh, go to next, choose a picture, uh, go to next is fine. Uh, I think arrow right is what we need to choose. And then we'll just do next. OK, and you can see uh, it's now other things you might want to do is maybe actually as you're putting in ingredients, some of them are very similar and you don't want to type everything out again and again. So maybe duplicate a record might be something you'd want to do. So let's click on that button there and then click and drag down here. OK, uh, record operations, duplicate record is what we want. Uh, and we'll say um, copy ingredient maybe make a copy. Uh, make a copy of ingredient. Okay, uh, and then uh, copy ingredient and finish. Okay, and then you could line th these things up and you know make them sort of look very pretty and all the rest. But again, it's important, you know, this is going to be used by many people. It's important that things line up nicely and that any of the commands that they would do frequently, um, uh, you know, are, are easy to use and it's, it's nice and simple for them to use.